enters the right side of the heart via the superior vena cava, which brings blood from the head and neck, and inferior vena cava, which brings blood from the body. It travels through the right atrium through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle. It then goes to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries, which are the only arteries carrying deoxygenated blood. Following oxygenation in the lungs, the pulmonary veins return the oxygenated blood into the left atrium. The blood then drains into the left ventricle through the mitral valve and is pumped out through the ascending and descending aorta to the rest of the body. In the following pages, you will learn about the conduction system and the cardiac cycle. The body's normal compensatory mechanism to maintain normal cardiac output from fluid loss is to speed up the heart rate. In theory, an increase in heart rate will support a reduction in stroke volume in order to maintain an adequate cardiac output. However, very fast heart rates can cause a reduced cardiac output as ventricular filling time is vastly reduced. The emergence of automatic blood pressure and heart rate monitoring equipment has tended to diminish the practice of manually estimating heart rate. However, machines can be wrong, particularly with arrhythmia, and therefore a manual assessment should be used to confirm the accuracy of any machine reading. Count the number of beats per minute. A normal resting rate ranges between 51 and 90 beats per minute. A slow pulse, that is one that is less than 51 beats per minute, is termed bradycardia. A fast heart rate, one that is greater than 90 beats per minute, is termed tachycardia. Sepsis encompasses a spectrum of clinical conditions caused by the systemic response to infection. It is a complex disease that can lead to acute organ dysfunction, severe sepsis, followed by multiple organ failure and death. Sepsis and its sequelae are the most common causes of death in adult intensive care units, and the incidence of sepsis is thought to be increasing. Patients with sepsis usually present with a localised infection, which progresses into an uncontrolled systemic reaction. Patients can then develop acute organ dysfunction at locations distant from the initial insult or primary infective site, ultimately leading to death. Drag the slider down to find out more.